Nate Oates, a former HS math teacher, explains the violent swings in Alabama. The whole which Alabama basketball team will show up today debate has never been more of a thing than in the past week. Reconciling the differences between last Saturday's loss and Wednesday's win at Ole Miss could take some time. It runs in stark contrast to the consistency of its 11 a.m. Saturday opponent as Arkansas rides into Coleman Coliseum after beating number one Auburn for a ninth straight win. Alabama was coming off its worst perimeter shooting performance in three years last Saturday against Kentucky when it bombed its way out of Ole Miss with a 97-83 win. What Nate Oates saw was a defense that took a step back in Oxford against the lowest scoring team in the SEC after holding the top five Wildcats relatively in check. The 66-55 final was Kentucky's second lowest scoring output in a Wildcat win while the 83 Ole Miss points were its second highest of the season. Who can figure that? Or the night and day nature of Alabama's three-point shooting. Maybe Oates, a former high school math teacher, can explain how a team and shoot 10% last Saturday and 63.3% by Wednesday. Regression back to the mean. He said with a chuckle Friday morning, there's something I don't want to call it luck, but over the course of the season, things play themselves out and has not wrong. Combine the two games and the 32.6% success rate from behind the arc aligns closely with the 31.5 season percentage. You can only struggle for so long, senior Kian Ellis said after making his only three against Ole Miss. I think last game was just a little bit of how we can get hot at times. It's nothing we were surprised of. Like, we know we can shoot it at that level, but that good. The 63.3% was its best in 10 years thought that 2012 game with Kentucky saw the Tide shoot just seven threes, not close to the volume of the current scheme. It was even more notable since it hadn't shot worse than the 3, 4, 30 against Kentucky since going 1, 4, 15 in a 2019 win over Mississippi State. Oates was also quick to point out that if Alabama shot its average against Kentucky, it could have meant a Tide win but if they did the same at Ole Miss, the outcome could have swung the other way. Jaden Shackelford had a large part in all of that. He wasn't feeling well when going 0, 4, 7 against Kentucky but was full strength making 8, 4, 13 from deep for a career-high 30 points at Ole Miss. Eight players attempted threes against Kentucky, six didn't make a single one. The Wildcats did their scouting and sagged off marginal shooters, almost daring them to shoot and it worked. I do think we did a better job of getting our shooters shots against Ole Miss, Oates said. Oates also liked the ball movement in Oxford as Alabama finished with a season-high 23 assists. Players like Jew and Gary, James Rojas, Charles Bediaco, and Noah Gurley are doing a better job of finding screening opportunities opportunities to free shooters like Shackelford. This visit from Arkansas could also bring more opportunity for Gurley to test his perimeter shooting after making two of three attempts at Ole Miss. Oates said Arkansas Jalen Williams is an effective defender in the paint but ISNT won to step out and guard a six-foot, eight-shooter like Gurley. The graduate student is making 29.4% of his three-point shots this season after connecting on 40.7% in his sophomore season at Furman. If they are going to leave him wide open, he can knock down some shots, Oates said. Rojas is a capable shooter. We need him to be comfortable shooting. There's also the statistical anomaly that is Jarvan Quinnelly's perimeter shooting. He made 43.3% a year ago but is sitting at 24.8% on nearly the same number of attempts. All of this comes to a head against an Arkansas team that's number three in three-point defense in conference games allowing 30.4%. The Razorbacks haven't lost since January 8th having just ended Auburn's 19-game winning streak Tuesday. It was a conference season that began with three straight losses to non-contenders Mississippi State, Vanderbilt, and Texas AM before hitting a stride. They seem like they've gone through their stretch of not taking teams seriously, Oates said. It seems like they figured all of that out. If they've won nine in a row, my guess is they are pretty locked in and playing the right way. I don't think we're going to hope to get them on a bad night. We're going to have to beat them when they are playing their best basketball. Michael Casagrande is a reporter for the Alabama Media Group. Follow him on Twitter at Bicasagrande or on Facebook.